Hello, my name is Bill. I'm the pastor at Freedom's Lutheran Church. Thank you for joining me for this moment of devotion. This morning in my personal devotions, I ran into this idea. Some days we feel like we are on top of the world. We have our acts together, nothing can go wrong. I wonder if on those days that our lives are running parallel with God's will for our lives. Have you ever thought about that? That those days when we feel like we are most in charge and everything seems to be going right, those are the days when we are in alignment with our Father in heaven. We are in alignment with God's plan for us and our lives. That would make it so then on those days where it just seems like everything is going wrong, we can't do anything right, that on those days, for some reason, we are disjointed from our Father in heaven. We are running across his purposes or pursuing our own will, our own way. I thought that was something worthwhile thinking about because it could be that sometimes when we're having a really bad day, it's just the devil at work tempting us and doing us wrong. But how do we know the difference? Or how can we come to know when on those bad days we're running across God's will instead of running parallel with it? To me, what we have to do then is take a moment and stop, reflect, and intentionally get ourselves in alignment with God. We have to admit that we are not in charge. That's probably one of the ways that's the most challenging to get into alignment with God, to admit our vulnerability, to admit our dependence upon God. But what happens when we do? I believe then it's right then and there that God moves to answer our prayer. God looks to assure us. God looks to, to, to help us transform and make it so that our will is running parallel to God's will. God's that kind of communicator. God's that good to us and loves you just that much that God will make sure that you know what God's heart is for you. Each and every day, you reach out to him and ask. So we pray for God to lead us and guide us. It's as if, you know, God is the potter, it says in Isaiah, right? God is the potter. We are the clay. We are the work of God's hands. And so I commend to you to go out today and be God's handiwork. Look to be shaped by our Father in heaven. And may your day experience blessing as you run parallel to him as you run with God's will, as you work with God to be a blessing to others in our world. Just a quick note, right? We're in Isaiah 64, and it says, Isaiah 64 verse 8 says, Yet, Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Thank you very much for joining me for this moment of devotion. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. If you would care to check out other devotions, go to www.freedens.church, F-R-I-E-D-E-N-S dot church. Bye-bye.